right, after many outtakes and lots of troubleshooting, it's now time for story time. And our story today is Odd Dog by Claudia Bolt. So this guy right here, this is Peanut. And Peanut is an odd dog. He doesn't like bones, he likes apples. You see all the apples around here. And in fact, he loves apples. And he worries that his next door neighbor, Milo, might steal all the apples from his apple tree. But Peanut is about to discover something about Milo and himself that could change everything. So let's see what he discovers. <clears throat> Odd dog. Right, let's see if I can get this appropriately aligned. There we go. That'll work. Okay. Peanut was an odd dog. Unlike all the other dogs, he did not care for bones, but he loved apples. His apple tree was his pride and joy. Peanut loved the apples from his tree so much that he was always worried that his neighbor Milo was plotting to steal them. At night, Peanut dreamed about his apple tree. Sometimes he would wake up so worried that he couldn't get back to sleep. And sometimes he would have nightmares that Milo had found a way to steal one of the apples, or even worse, all of them. So he counted them every morning, just to make sure. One day, disaster struck. The juiciest apple of all was just about to fall into Milo's garden. There was no time to lose. Peanut tried everything. Just trying to reach that apple. Trying to reach it. Can't do it. Can't do it. Oh, but with no luck. Milo's going to get my best apple, just like he always gets everything, Peanut thought. It's not fair. Peanut was feeling dreadfully sorry for himself when, all of a sudden, Oh no! The apple fell. Clang! The apple landed in Milo's bowl. But instead of eating the apple, Milo said, here you go, Peanut. This apple looks very ripe and juicy and I know how much you love them. And Peanut was very surprised. Oh, he said, thank you. Um, would you like a bite? No, thank you very much, said Milo. I don't really like apples. I love bones. Peanut wanted to thank Milo for returning the apple. So he invited him for a picnic. And from that day on, look at all those dogs. They were the very best of friends. The end.